Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I want to do a quick video today uh, regarding how to check the capacity of a external device that you have attached to your Synology NAS. So I've talked, done a few videos before about uh, backing up video files and I use a Synology NAS, a DS920 Plus that was kindly sent to me by Synology uh, for this purpose and it's proved to be a really invaluable part of my uh, my video, everything I've done this video so far. So as I explained what I peer, my best videos or my YouTube clips at least, I will uh, mirror those up to cloud storage as an offsite whenever I can. Um, and then there's a second category of stuff and I put in that category stuff like raw footage reels, uh, B-roll, um, what else would I say, uh, stock footage. And those I don't really care about as much and as my bandwidth is pretty small, it's not really worth my time pushing everything up to the cloud and paying for cloud storage for it. So what I do is I just dump this lower grade footage onto a USB hard drive. So I've covered in a separate video how you can do that. It's actually super easy. You can connect even an NAS to an NAS, um, but I'm just using a hard drive enclosure physically uh, tethered into the USB port with a USB 3 cable for fast data transfer. Now, the, what I want to talk about in this video is um, capacity. So my plan is to keep filling these things up and then just put a bunch of um, hard drives into one of those, uh, you know, storage boxes. So it's not, for some reason, it's not that intuitive. You click on your external devices and this will show up in the top right of DSM. I'm running the latest DSM when you have your uh, hard drive enclosure connected, but it doesn't, uh, it just gives you the product string and the ability to safely eject it, which you should always do. Uh, but there's nothing there about capacity. So you might think, well, what about in the uh, storage manager? So clicking on storage manager here, you can see that I do get the storage readout, but for the actual, the NAS itself, I've got it's a four, four bay NAS and everything is running fine. And I've got my uh, smart tests running and I'm using, you know, 600 and 700 odd gigabytes out of the 2.6 I have available to me. Um, but there's nothing about external. So where you find that data is as follows. You want to go back to your homepage um, and then you want to actually click into control panel for some reason. It's not in here, at least not that I can find it anyway. So click into your control panel and in control panel, you'll get external devices. And this is where we find the information. So this USB disk one, that's actually the uh, USB enclosure that I have connected up here. Um, it gives you the location of your shared folder that becomes available when you connect the enclosure to your NAS. And here's the important data that I'm looking for. I've used 183 gigs out of 915 and it's a ext4 file system. So I've got a long, a long way to go. There's a little bit more info that you can do if you click on it. You can actually format it uh, directly within from the NAS, which is really useful. And you can change around a few settings and you can also check. I'm not gonna go into the settings to, to because that's not what this video is about. Anyway, that's my that's the quick uh, skinny on how you find out the capacity of a external uh, drive, whether that's a, uh, you know, one of those portable USB drives or a, uh, a powered USB um, HDD enclosure that you've got connected. You need to go into a uh, control panel, then click on external devices, and then you'll get your uh, very important readout here. Uh, regarding how much of it you filled. It doesn't even give you a percentage, but uh, you can work out approximately where you stand in terms of filling up that external drive. Hope that video was useful. And if you want to get more videos from me, please subscribe to this YouTube channel.